On the Healthy Tonight, we look at caregiver stress. When your loved one has dementia or Alzheimer's, it's key that you make sure that you, too, are scheduling a break. It's called respite care, and this is the time of year when demand for respite care goes way up. And these goes together and makes a quilt. Or... Back in the day, Agnes Puff won awards for her beautiful crochet and embroidery work. These days, her family treasures her talent and wants to make sure she's safe as she slowly slips away. Who am I? You're my mom. No. No. You're my daughter? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're my daughter. That's right. Sharon Hollingsworth is an only child and knows at home her mom Agnes was at risk. And she had gotten out a little stepladder and was trying to do something over the kitchen sink, you know, trying to look at the window or do something, and, you know, it was just not safe. So we just decided that we needed some help. Agnes is now living with other dementia patients at Zionsville Meadows. But there's always someone there. I know the medications are given to her in a timely manner and what she needs, and she has a lot of medications, and it's, it's a full-time job just taking care of those kind of needs. Experts say sometimes families just have a need that's more temporary, like a respite stay. We have some folks that are come in um, several times a year um, to take advantage of that and give themselves and their loved one a break. Can you wave at him? Research shows that caregivers for a close relative with Alzheimer's are at a much greater risk of a declining health as a result of their caregiving. A break helps manage stress. We have respite stays even for something as simple as getting your holiday shopping done for a weekend or a few days or going to visit a son or a daughter that lives out of state so it can be for a very short period of time to manage that stress. Let's see what day is today. I think the main thing is that I don't worry about if someone's with her, if she's being taken care of. There, your camera's broke. <laughs> Well, there is no cure for Alzheimer's, and that's why research is so important. This Saturday, Trial Match will be here and can help connect you with a clinical trial. Researchers are looking for men and women, young and old, healthy and unhealthy brains to participate. I'm going to be there. Come out and join me at the Memory Care Fair. It's from 9 to noon at American Villa. That's at 54th and Keystone. Participating in a trial is really a great way to honor a loved one with the disease and to let them know that you are working to find a cure.